Here are the two functions that two students designed. On one hand, the functions are kind of different, but on the other hand, they're also similar. They both take a given list and apply some criterion to the elements of the list to pick out which elements to keep. It would be nice to come up with a single function that does the job of both of these functions. Let's try to abstract from these functions. But in order to do that, we have to get rid of as many inessential differences as possible so that, again, we can zero in on the essential differences. Now, the first difference we see between the left-hand side and the right-hand side lies in the data definitions. On the left, we have defined a list of numbers. On the right, we have defined a list of strings. By now, you've uh, gotten used to and maybe even bored with writing these data definitions. Um, the list of numbers data definition is quite similar to the list of strings data definition. So wouldn't it be nice to have a single data definition that can do the job of both of them? To come up with this data definition, let's apply the abstraction recipe. Let's look for the differences between those two data definitions. It turns out that there's only one. On the left, the list contains numbers, so the first input to counts is a number, whereas on the right, the list contains strings, so the first input to counts is a string. We're going to give this thing that's either a number or a string a name. Let's call it x, let's say, and we're going to write a data definition that takes this difference x as input. How does that look? Well, I'm going to just start typing based on what's similar between the two data definitions, except whenever I get to a difference, I'm going to replace that difference by x. So um, here, we're going to, uh, on the left, just have a case empty because that's the same on the both sides. And then I'm going to type counts. And instead of number or string, I'm just going to type x. And then finally, I have list of numbers. What are we going to call this data definition? Well, we're going to call it list of. But list of is not just a single data definition. It's a data definition that takes an input. So when we want to feed an input to a data definition, what we're going to do is to put that inside square brackets like this. And that's just our way of notating a data definition that takes an input x. Okay, so a list of x is one of empty counts x. And here we have a list of numbers. Here we got some strings. But more generally, by the time we're done abstracting, we're going to have a list of x. So now we've replaced the difference between number and string in the two initial data definitions by an input x. We've arrived at a data definition that takes an input x. And that data definition is called list of. This is great because from now on, we could just write list of x inside brackets to mean any list of any element. Let's finish abstracting by using this new data definition to re-implement, to re-express the two concrete special case data definitions that we started with. So list of numbers is just a list of number. Again, note that I've put inside square brackets the name list of and then the input number. We're feeding the data definition number as an input to the list of that we just came up with a definition of. Similarly, I'm going to go to a list of strings, and instead of writing that repetitive definition with two cases, just write list of string. All right, that's the first thing that we did to try to bring the two functions on each side of the screen closer together. Because now, if we look at the signature of between 2050, it's not just a list of numbers. We could use the two words, list of number, to refer to that. And similarly, on the right, for all contains lorem, 
the input is a list of string. And that's more similar because now we have the same word list of that appears on both sides. And the only difference between the left hand side and the right hand side in terms of the signature is what list of is given as input. On the left, we have a list of number, and on the right, we have a list of string. We've managed to make the list of part the same.